formula which we have written is we will be getting quality equation in the denominator without square root or inside square root for both the process the same two types we see in that view first one is the coefficient of x square which is given in the question is already positive and second one will be when the coefficient of x square is negative so you have to look out for that the starting steps are same third step you have to be careful okay please pay attention what you have to do is when coefficient of x square is positive the quality equation which you have in the denominator coefficient of x square is a positive number okay so in that what you are supposed to do first is make the coefficient of x square plus 1 so here what is the number present? 3 3 how will you make it plus 1? Mm -hmm. by dividing each term over here by 3 mm -hmm. or in other words taking out 3 common from the denominator that's the first step once you do that second step is you are supposed to find the last term last term how you find out is half of middle term whole bracket square and middle term is x the coefficient of x that is the middle term last term is half of middle term whole bracket square once the last term is ready this last term has to be introduced in the quadrant a how it is introduced is the variable part which is there to it you add the last term and the constant term which is there without x from that you subtract the last term okay these are the steps main step once you finish that you are supposed to complete the square and then use the corresponding formula okay so i'm just taking the working out here coefficient of x square is plus 3 i'll make it plus 1 so i'll be taking out 3 common outside after this i'm supposed to find the last term last term is half of middle term whole bracket square middle term is the coefficient of x what's the coefficient of x one by even if you get a negative sign that's okay because you are supposed to square it so it doesn't make much difference so this will be half of 1 by 3 bracket square so what's the number? 1 by 6 square is 36 ok this I am supposed to add and subtract add to the variable part and subtract from the constant number Okay. Now we have to complete the square. X square is the square of X 1 by 36 is the square of 1 by 6 middle term sign plus complete the square. What this means is if I open this bracket I will get this expanded form. Okay. So what I have done is I had X square term I have reduced it into a linear term now so that I can use the formula. Alright, and this constant term now you have to simplify. Here 36 is there to make this 36. I should multiply with 12. In the numerator you will get 24, 24 minus 1, 23 upon 36. Now it's not necessary that always we'll get a number whose pockets we can be written. So what I get is 1 by 3 x plus 1 by 6 bracket square plus root 23 upon 6 bracket square which formula? Yeah, yeah. Upon x square plus x square that's 1 by 8 tan inverse of x by 8 in place of x what do you write? x plus 1 by 6 in place of a you write 23 by 6 you have to take the LCM and simplify 1 by 3 will be carried forward and that will be the final answer ok so once again I just simplify what is important over here is first rule we are following when coefficient of x square is a positive number coefficient of x square is a positive number so that number is taken common outside. In that process, you have to divide each term by that particular number. Once the coefficient of x square is made 1, positive 1, you find the last term. Last term is half of middle term bracket square. Middle term is the coefficient of x. That number taken, square it. Even if it's a negative number, it doesn't make a difference. You're going to square it, so it's a positive number. This constant number which you get, that's the last term. You have to add to the variable part and subtract from the constant number. Then complete the square, middle term sign has to be carried forward and constant number you have to simplify. Okay. Once you get the arrangement, you compare with the standard format of the formula, use the corresponding formula. Okay, those are understood. Same thing inside square root if you get, you follow the same procedure. What will be different is instead of 3 coming outside, it will be square root of 3 which will be coming outside. That will be the difference. And obviously the formula which you will use, that will be different. Procedure understood. This is when coefficient of x square is a positive number. 
Second rule will be when question of x square is a negative number. Slight difference in the procedure. First, like this.